Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be preparing to install the cast iron tub in the bathroom. Stay tuned. So whenever I'm maneuvering or carrying something as heavy as this 310 pound cast iron tub, the first thing I think of is safety. So when you're moving something like this tub, you're going to want to think about maneuverability and are you going to go up a lot of stairs? Are you going down a long hallway, around a bunch of corners? And that will also factor into how many people you're probably going to realistically need to move the tub. A piece of equipment like an appliance dolly may even come in handy. If you have to transport the tub a long way, you may want to consider leaving it in the packaging and that may help to prevent the tub from getting damaged, but also may make it easier to carry the tub. This product here is called the shoulder dolly, and it's made up of two harnesses and the strap you see in the center. And this allows two people to carry really heavy objects without needing additional help. Now, having said all that, my situation is actually pretty simple. I'm only going up a couple steps here, then through the living room and down a short hallway to get to the bathroom. So I decided to use a couple dollies. The one on the right is one that I bought from Harbor Freight. And then I added some 2x6s on top of that to elevate the tub a little bit. And I'll talk a little bit more about why I did that once we get into the bathroom. The dolly on the left is made out of some 2x's I had left over in the garage. And then I just added some casters I had left over from another project. And then I went to one of the home improvement stores and got a cheap floor mat and cut it up so I could put it on top of the 2x6s to protect the tub. Because of the space constraints in the bathroom, I want to go ahead and install the waste and overflow on the tub out here in the garage. And I thought about reusing my old waste and overflow, but the new drain doesn't exactly fit. So I had to scrap that idea. Now there are several replacement options out there. There's polypropylene white and black, ABS plastic, PVC, and then of course the most expensive option which is brass. I decided to go with brass because I was going to have to maneuver this heavy tub around a lot to get it positioned correctly and I was worried about the plastic cracking. So here's a kit that I got and it includes all the components I'm going to need to install the waste and overflow on the tub. If you have obstructions to deal with you may want to consider ABS plastic or PVC because you can configure those to fit your situation. You may want to also look at some flexible hose options too. And I'll put a link in the description below or somewhere in this video to the video that I did unboxing in the drain. And that was to get around some floor joist obstructions. So I have the assembly all laid out here. I'm going to start with the waste pipe. And you can see that's the gasket that's going to go between the tub and the waste pipe. Next I'm going to put on one of these collars. And I want the thread side facing away from the drain. Then I'll take one of these beveled washers here. I want the flat side facing the drain, bevel side away from the drain, and I'll slip that on there. Then that's the main part of the waste and overflow pipe. So I'm going to slide that on. And then I'm just going to tighten down the collars just kind of loosely there. I don't want to have this all tight just yet because I want to have some maneuverability here. So now we're going to go ahead and work on our overflow pipe. So we're basically going to repeat what we did on the drain pipe where we got the thread sides facing away from the overflow. We're going to put our beveled washer on there with the flat side facing the overflow. And then we're just going to go ahead and slip that onto the main part of the waste and overflow pipe there. Screw that down. Again, we're doing that loosely. We don't want to have anything tight just yet. Next, we're going to go ahead and put the overflow gasket on. And you can see it's got a flat side and a fat side. So I want the fat side down. And then it's got four ears that help it grasp onto the overflow. Now I wasn't really very comfortable using this particular gasket because of the rough texture of the tub. I was worried about a leak developing. So I decided not to use this gasket. So I looked at a couple of other options for gaskets. And you can see the one I'm holding in my hand there. I wasn't really too keen on that one. So I decided to go away from that one. And instead, what I ended up using is the spongy gasket. Okay, so now that I have this drain and overflow assembly ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and install it on the tub. I'm going to install the drain first. So 
So I have some plumber's putty here and what I'm going to do is wrap a 3 8 of an inch rope of that plumber's putty on the underside of the flange of the drain. And that will help to seal the drain against the tub. Okay, so I've loosely screwed the drain into the pipe. I don't want to tighten it down just yet until I install the overflow on the tub. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and install the overflow on the tub. And this is our gasket we're going to use. Remember, fat side down, flat side up to account for the angle right at the overflow on the tub. So now we're going to go ahead and install the cover for the overflow. And you can see there are two openings on the bottom there. Those you want to have down, of course. And we want to have the writing that says clean out facing up. At this point, everything is loosely installed, and that includes the collars for the drain and the overflow. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the drain first, and I'm going to use this drain wrench to do that. This is the same tool that I used to remove the drain off the old tub. I'll just tighten it by hand first, and then I'm going to use a half inch ratchet to tighten it up the rest of the way. And I don't want to get too crazy with tightening this and cause damage to the tub or the drain. Lastly, I'll tighten down the overflow cover plate screws and then I'll tighten down the overflow and drain pipe collars with some pliers. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos. Visit our website at DIYApprentice.com.